all those who have a favourite Clone Wars character. All right, yours was the first hand that came up, young man. Who's your Who's your favourite Clone Wars character? Whoa. Oh. An evil one. Sars Ventress. Sars Ventress, yeah. Sorry, your name is sorry. Caleb. All right. Now. Yeah, Sars. You know, she's appeared before in comic books in different forms. Even in a previous micro series of the Clone Wars, one thing I wanted to do with her was keep her head very knife-like. So she has quite a pointed chin. Also, I gave her these raised brows, little tattoo marks. She has slightly different tattoos than what's called the expanded universe of Star Wars. She's very diabolical. I gave her a tattoo off of her mouth just to make her look a little more vicious. And we also made her kind of sexy. She flirts with Obi-Wan quite a bit, right? you know, something devilish about her that way. She's almost like a forbidden fruit for these guys that aren't supposed to get into relationships. And it's nice to see her and Obi-Wan toy, uh, toy with each other. Let's see, let's get her some lightsaber. Do you get a lot of your influences from people that are around you as well, or the characteristics that you get, you catch in the corner of the eye, or? Uh, it depends on the character. Sometimes we do a lot of temp voice recording up at uh, up at the ranch, and I can't do uh, the real voice actors. I don't bring Ashley in to do the, the temp record on the characters that I showed George the first time because we changed the dialogue so much. So what I do is uh, we use people around the office, and one of the girls uh, does a sauce adventure, someone else does Anakin, someone else does everyone. And uh, I had these one guy, I had two guys that would work that were Irish, and uh, they tempt the lemur people from Jedi Crash, and I liked their accents, so then I made the real lemur people have Irish accents for <laughs> Killian and uh, Ronan. To be sure, to be sure. Tempted, yeah, so uh, sometimes that emphasizes that way. Sometimes I give character, new alien characters' names based on people in the crew, or I gave Plo Koon a, a new uh, a corporal, corporal Comet, because I named my dog Comet, so. You do that kind of thing, but that's fair because George, his dog is named Indiana, so he got a much bigger character. Yeah. <laughs> and while I've distracted you, I finished. There you go. Anyway.